Hi guys. It is a gray, gloomy, depressing Saturday afternoon here in the end times in hell. Take a wild fucking guess where I am on Saturday afternoon, August 21st, 2021. You might remember my uh, little rant yesterday, if you called it a depressed Airbnb host, a depressed Airbnb host um, goes shopping for sheeps where I drove from fucking Candor all the way to the north side of Ithaca. I, I took the whole hunk out of my day yesterday to buy not one not two, not three, but four sets of fucking sheets for that goddamn tiny house. To go with the two sets already has, I now own six sets of sheets for that fucking uh, tiny house that I'm renting out on Airbnb. And uh, so I figured, okay, Hambone, you are fucking done with going to the laundromat for, uh, for for two weeks uh, that it'll probably be about, you, you know, by the time I cycle through six guests in the, in, in the uh, tiny house, that it should be two fucking weeks before I have to head back to this fucking laundromat. Well, that was, I, I walked out of there, it was 22 hours ago with those goddamn sheets, so I... I go in the fucking tiny house, I, I put the, you know, the brand new, well, the brand new used sheets from Habitat for Humanity, I put them on the bed, I, I put the spread over the bed, and then I folded up the blanket, put it over the bottom of the bed and whatnot, and waiting for these, uh, this, this young couple who were supposed to be showing up at the tiny house. So I should have been tipped off who I was fucking dealing with, with this little bitch, uh, when she told me they were going on a hot air balloon ride yesterday in Ithaca, that they were going on a hot air balloon ride, and then after her little ride on her beautiful balloon, she would be by to, uh, uh, to meet up with me to enjoy her evening, uh, in my charming little, uh, my, ch my charming little tiny house beside the babbling brook, which is still a fucking raging river, so she figured she'd be there about eight o'clock, so at 9.30, at 9.30, uh, she, uh, she shows up, she and this guy, never figured out who this guy was, this bitch pulls up, steps out of her truck, and within 15 seconds is bitching. 15 fucking seconds, she's bitching about the fucking bugs, about, about the mud, about the fucking bugs, and, and, uh, and I just tried to make, you know, I, I said, well, uh, you understand that we just had a flash flood through here, uh, and it's a little bit soggy and muddy around here, and there's going to be a few mosquitoes that is, that it's been a wet summer, and, uh, so... She was, they were deciding, but since there were two of them and it's just a twin mattress in the tiny house, they wanted to look at the Maggie May because it has a 54 inch wide mattress instead of a 39 inch. So we, on the way to the tiny house, we stopped by the Maggie May. She walks inside the Maggie May and within five seconds, is screaming about the goddamn bugs in the Maggie May. Now, she did have a little bit of uh, reason to complain. There are a few mosquitoes in the Maggie May, and, uh, like, you don't rent this out to people with all these mosquitoes, and you weren't, uh, were you suggesting that we, and I, and I was saying, 
I just wanted you to see the larger bed. And uh, she goes, well, there, there's not going to be all those uh, mosquitoes in the, you know, in the little cabin, are there? And I said, well, that depends on how long you keep the door open. Uh, I said, you do need to get in and out of that door every time you open the door. Uh, you might let a couple of bugs in. And uh, so she says, fine. And so then, I, you know, I'm, I'm giving her the tour of the outside kitchen. And I guess she, I, I don't know what the fuck. It, it, I, I don't know if this woman was unable to read or what. She seemed totally surprised that the fucking tiny house did not have a kitchen inside it. And then, of course, now she did understand, I think, that we all shared the bathroom. So she actually was not bitching about the bathroom. She seems, she goes, well, we're not going to be using, we're not going to be using the uh, kitchen anyway. So, uh, so I guess it doesn't matter. And uh, so anyway, it, it's 10 o'clock at night. They, uh, I leave them be uh, in the tiny house, and I go inside. Uh, so they move into that tiny house uh, a few minutes before 10 o'clock last night. So I go in and watch this, uh, watch this documentary on Netflix, which was not even an hour and a half long. It, it was less than 90 minutes long, uh, this documentary, which I reviewed in this in an accompanying rant. You can go see my review of Misha and the Wolves. So 90 minutes at the max. And so then I head out the front door to go sleep in the Maggie May, me and the mosquitoes. And I, and I see this bitch. She's She's out there sitting in her truck, in her pickup truck, on, on her damn cell phone. So now it's like right about 11.30 at night and I go up to her and I say, you know, uh, you know, like, what's going on? Uh, why are you out here in your truck? And she started, she goes, well, she goes, that tiny house, uh, she goes, did you not realize the, how wet it was? And I said, what do you mean wet? She goes, she goes, well, the floor, she goes, the rug is wet. Uh, she goes, the, the bed spread is damp. She goes, that, that blanket is, is just like soaking wet. Like, uh, how are, am I supposed to sleep under a wet blanket? And, and I'm thinking, bitch, you are a fucking wet blanket. And so I, 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 I said, well, I, you know, I explained again that uh, it's been raining every day uh, this entire summer. We just had this flood coming through here and, and you know, and things get a little damp. And uh, anyway, so the guy she was with, let's see, she told me that this guy she was with had stinky feet and he snored. She goes, but that doesn't, she goes, that doesn't have anything to do with you. Uh, that, she goes, I couldn't sleep in there with his stinky feet and his snoring anyway. Uh, I, I would have been sleeping out in my truck anyway, uh, e even if it wasn't, uh, you know, wet. And uh, She goes, I just didn't realize how wet and sticky it was going to be out here. And, and, and I, I, I finally said, lady, uh, I said, if you are that miserable here, I said, I'll give you your fucking money back. All right. Just tell Airbnb uh, that Sam says you can have your fucking money back. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. And, and, her, and the guy she was with, I don't know, was her boy, he, he fucking loved the place apparently. I guess he was snoring away in there. And it's 7.30 this morning, so that was 11.30. She was in her goddamn car, uh, you know, uh, on her uh, cell phone. And then at 7.30 this morning, I hear her truck start up and uh, off into the fucking rain. And, and I go out there, and what the bitch had done, she had uh, taken this mildly damp blanket that she was calling soaking wet and just thrown it out 
into the rain on the deck of the tiny house. She she didn't like put it uh, under the roof of the kitchen or the bathroom or bring it inside or she just threw the fucking blanket uh, out on the out on the deck where it got rained on last night. So what should have been a six minute drying job is an 18 minute drying job. Uh, Anyway, so I am back at this fucking laundromat dealing with these whiny ass little brats. And uh, now I have this Asian couple uh, dropping their daughter off at Cornell. Uh, gonna I can only imagine. The, the woman's name is Wuhan. W-U-H-A-N. I have a woman named Wuhan. Uh, dropping her little darling uh, at Cornell. I think half of the student body at Cornell uh, is Asian. So here I sit at the fucking laundromat to see what she's going to be bitching about. And now uh, I got called out by the woman at the laundromat for not wearing shoes. She said, don't come back in here without your shoes. So I have to go find my fucking shoes. And, uh, all right. About three more minutes to go with this fucking bullshit. This fucking Airbnb. And somebody left a comment this morning. What did they say? You bought yourself a house of pain being an Airbnb host. It ain't hip camp. And, and, and this bitch this morning, where she's heading tonight is a hip camp. I asked her, is she? I said, have you ever been to a hip camp? And she said no, but she was really looking forward to her first hip camp experience. And, and I told her, I said, well, darling, go on to fucking hip camp and you'll see this place. I said, this is a hip camp. This tiny house is a hip camp that it's more uh, catered towards a hip camp clientele than an Airbnb one. Uh, I said, so you're probably gonna have another night uh, at this hip camp uh, tonight like you're having at my place. But uh, she didn't seem too concerned about my warning. I hope that fucking bitch, I, I hope she gets up there to that hip camp. I, I, I you know, I, I, I hope there's a fucking uh, black widow in her pillow. Uh, I hope there's a nest of fucking hornets uh, in, in her goddamn tiny house. Whiny motherfuckers. Jesus fucking Christ. I have to go fold dry blankets after I find some shoes to put on. Bye, guys.